Did you know that your skin could warn you about diabetes even before your doctor detects it? Specific skin changes can be the first warning sign of high blood sugar, allowing you to take action before serious complications develop. In this video, we will explore 12 skin signs that could indicate diabetes, which are often overlooked by most people. Understanding these early warning signs could potentially save you from years of undiagnosed health issues and prevent serious complications down the road. The connection between skin health and diabetes is much stronger than most people realize, with the skin often serving as a visible window into our internal metabolic processes. Diabetes can affect many parts of our body, including our skin, which is our largest organ and often reflects our internal health status. Some skin changes typically appear in the advanced stages of the disease, but others can be early indicators of developing diabetes, appearing months or even years before traditional diagnosis. In fact, skin problems are sometimes the first visible sign that a person has diabetes, well before the appearance of other classic symptoms like increased thirst or frequent urination. Some skin lesions are typically observed in diabetic people, while others can occur in anyone, but people with diabetes are more vulnerable to them due to compromised immune function and circulation issues. Let's analyze these signs one by one to help you quickly identify any suspicious changes that deserve medical attention and potentially lead to early intervention. The first sign to watch for is acanthosis nigricans, a condition characterized by areas of dark, thickened skin with a velvety texture that feels different from the surrounding skin. Have you ever noticed a dark patch or a band of velvety skin on the back of your neck when looking in the mirror or having your hair cut? This skin manifestation is not limited to the neck and can also be observed in the armpits and groin folds, areas where skin typically rubs against skin creating friction. Acanthosis nigricans is frequently observed in obese people and is a telling sign of a high blood glucose level and insulin resistance, two key factors in developing type 2 diabetes. It may be the first clue that a person is developing diabetes, which is why prompt medical consultation is essential if this type of skin change appears on your body. The dark patches don't typically cause physical discomfort but can be a significant indicator that metabolic changes are occurring within your body that require attention. Early detection of diabetes can prevent many future complications that could permanently affect your quality of life and overall well-being for decades to come. If you find this information useful, don't hesitate to subscribe and activate the notification bell to never miss any of our essential health tips that could help you live a healthier life. Where are you watching this video from today? Share your region in the comments to help us better understand our community and tailor our content to your specific health concerns. The second important sign concerns skin tags, also known as small skin growths that hang from the skin by a small stalk called a peduncle. Many people have a few skin tags, which is generally normal and harmless to overall health when they appear in small numbers on the body. However, the presence of numerous skin tags accompanied by a blackish discoloration of the skin could signal a high blood glucose level and insulin resistance. These growths most often develop on the eyelids, neck, armpits, and groin region, sometimes forming visible clusters that can become irritated when rubbed by clothing. While skin tags themselves aren't painful or dangerous, their sudden increase in number can be an important metabolic indicator that shouldn't be ignored. Medical research suggests a strong correlation between multiple skin tags and abnormal blood sugar levels, making this a valuable early warning sign. Another telling sign is the appearance of yellowish, reddish, or brownish patches on your skin that deserve special attention due to their unique characteristics. This skin condition often begins as small raised bumps resembling pimples, which gradually evolve into patches of swollen and hardened skin with distinctive borders. As the condition progresses, you might notice that the surrounding skin takes on a shiny, porcelain-like appearance that looks noticeably different from your normal skin texture. Blood vessels may also become more visible through the affected skin, which generally becomes itchy and painful to the touch when pressure is applied. This skin disease goes through cycles of activity and inactivity, with periods of remission followed by new inflammatory flare-ups that can be triggered by stress or physical trauma. The medical term for this condition is necrobiosis lipoidica, and its presence should prompt you to get tested for diabetes without delay as it has a strong association with the disease. This condition appears in approximately 0.3% of all diabetic patients but is especially significant because it can appear before diabetes is diagnosed. A fourth sign to watch for is hardening or thickening of the skin, particularly on the hands, 
which can limit mobility and dexterity over time. About one-third of people with type 1 diabetes develop digital sclerosis, characterized by thick, tight, waxy skin on the back of the hands that feels unusually stiff. The finger joints become stiff and difficult to move, limiting dexterity and fine hand movements needed for everyday tasks like buttoning shirts or typing. Sometimes this skin problem extends to the toes and forehead, and more rarely, the knees, ankles, or elbows may also stiffen, affecting overall mobility. The skin may take on a yellowish or reddish hue and feel warm to the touch during active phases of this condition. Adequate control of blood glucose levels and appropriate physical therapy can be beneficial in alleviating this uncomfortable condition and preventing further progression. Regular stretching exercises for the affected joints can help maintain mobility and prevent permanent contractures from developing. Regular use of a quality moisturizer can also help soften the affected skin and improve its overall texture providing some relief from the tightness and discomfort. Urea-containing creams may be particularly effective as they help break down the excess keratin that contributes to skin thickening. The fifth sign is diabetic dermopathy, a skin condition that causes spots forming a barely perceptible depression in the skin that might feel slightly different when touched. This manifestation is common in people with diabetes and usually forms on the shins, although in rare cases, it may appear on the arms, thighs, trunk, or other body areas. These spots generally do not cause any notable symptoms like itching or pain, which is why many confuse them with simple age marks or minor bruises from everyday bumps. Unlike age marks, these spots and lines usually begin to fade after 18 to 24 months of evolution, though they may leave a slight discoloration. However, diabetic dermopathy can also persist indefinitely on the skin serving as a constant reminder of the underlying condition that requires ongoing management. The spots typically start as round, red areas and then become brown and slightly scaly, with a thin, depression in the center of each spot. The sixth sign is the sudden appearance of blisters on the skin, a rare but specific phenomenon in some diabetic people that can be quite alarming when it first occurs. You might observe a large isolated blister, a group of small blisters, or both simultaneously on different parts of the body without any apparent cause or injury. These blisters typically form on the hands, feet, legs, or forearms and resemble blisters that appear after a severe burn, though they develop spontaneously. However, unlike blisters caused by burns, those associated with diabetes are generally not painful, which constitutes an important diagnostic difference that doctors look for. The blisters contain a clear fluid and can range in size from smaller than a pea to larger than a golf ball in some cases. The medical term for this condition is bullosis diabeticorum, and it affects approximately 0.5% of people with diabetes, making it rare but significant. These blisters typically heal on their own within 2-4 to four weeks without leaving scars, but their appearance should trigger medical consultation. Eruptive xanthomatosis represents the seventh skin sign of diabetes particularly visible in cases of poorly controlled diabetes with very high triglyceride levels. When these bumps appear, they often resemble ordinary pimples but quickly develop a characteristic yellowish coloration that distinguishes them from common acne. These lesions are generally located on the buttocks, thighs, elbow creases, or the back of the knees, although they can theoretically form anywhere on the body. The bumps have a firm, round appearance and may develop a reddish halo around the yellow center that can help identify them. Regardless of their location, these bumps are usually tender to the touch and itchy, causing significant discomfort that can disrupt daily activities and sleep. These yellowish manifestations promptly disappear when diabetes is well controlled, emphasizing the importance of effective blood sugar management and medication adherence. Lowering triglyceride levels through diet, exercise, and medication can also help clear up this skin condition more quickly. The eighth sign concerns recurrent skin infections, as diabetic people are more prone to infections, whether bacterial or fungal, due to compromised immune function. High blood sugar levels impair white blood cell function, making it harder for your body to fight off invading microorganisms that cause infections. Bacterial infections frequently observed in the context of diabetes include styes affecting the eyelid glands, folliculitis affecting hair follicles, and boils, which are deep infections of the skin and underlying tissues. These bacterial infections tend to be more severe and slower to heal in people with diabetes compared to those with normal blood sugar levels. 
The skin infections may appear redder, more swollen, and more painful than typical infections, often requiring more aggressive antibiotic treatment. Fungal infections are also very common in diabetic people, particularly thriving in warm, moist skin folds where sugar-rich sweat provides ideal growing conditions. These infections develop under the breasts, around the navel, between fingers and toes, in the corners of the mouth, armpits, and groin region. Common fungal infections include jock itch, athlete's foot, ringworm, and vaginal infections causing intense itching that can significantly impact quality of life. Women with diabetes are particularly prone to recurring vaginal yeast infections that may be resistant to standard treatments. These fungal infections typically present with red, itchy rashes that may have scalloped borders and satellite lesions spreading outward from the main infection site. The ninth sign is directly linked to the complications of long-term uncontrolled diabetes, affecting blood circulation and causing nerve damage in extremities. High blood sugar over a prolonged period can lead to poor circulation and peripheral neuropathies, reducing blood flow to extremities and diminishing sensation. These complications can make wound healing difficult, especially on the feet which are far from the heart and already receive less blood flow than other body parts. Without proper sensation, people with diabetes might not notice small injuries, allowing them to worsen without intervention or proper care. These open wounds, called diabetic ulcers, constitute a serious complication that requires immediate medical attention to prevent infection and potential amputation. The wounds typically appear as red craters in the skin that may or may not be painful, depending on the level of nerve damage present. If you are diabetic, it is essential to examine your feet daily for wounds and open injuries to prevent potentially serious complications from developing unnoticed. Using a mirror to check the bottoms of your feet or asking a family member to help can ensure no areas are missed during your daily inspection. The tenth sign is localized pruritus, or itching, often caused by diabetes and can result from a yeast infection, dry skin, or poor circulation causing skin irritation. When poor circulation is the cause of itching, the most affected areas are generally the lower parts of the legs, which are particularly vulnerable due to gravity's effects. The itching may be intense and persistent, particularly at night, leading to scratch marks and potentially secondary infections from broken skin. You can sometimes treat itching yourself by limiting the frequency of baths, especially when ambient humidity is low and skin tends to dry out more quickly. Using a mild soap containing moisturizing agents and avoiding hot water can help preserve your skin's natural moisture barrier. Applying a skin cream after bathing can also effectively relieve this symptom by locking in moisture and soothing irritated skin surfaces. Creams containing colloidal oatmeal or ceramides may be particularly effective for diabetes-related skin dryness and irritation. The eleventh sign to be aware of is the development of shin spots, small, circular, brownish areas that develop on the front of the lower legs. These spots, which resemble age spots or freckles, are caused by changes in the small blood vessels that supply the skin in these areas. Shin spots are harmless and don't require medical treatment, but their presence is strongly correlated with diabetes, particularly in older individuals. They may be more noticeable in people with lighter skin tones and can sometimes appear in clusters rather than as isolated spots. The twelfth and final sign is vitiligo, a condition where the skin loses pigment in patches, resulting in white or light areas on the skin. While vitiligo can occur in anyone, it has a higher prevalence in people with type 1 diabetes due to the autoimmune nature of both conditions. The white patches most commonly appear on the hands, face, and chest but can develop anywhere on the body, including the mucous membranes. If you notice these patches developing, especially if you have other risk factors for diabetes, consider discussing them with your healthcare provider. In conclusion, if you notice one or more of the signs mentioned above, it is important to correlate them with other risk factors rather than immediately assuming diabetes. These factors include obesity, family history of diabetes, or a sedentary lifestyle that significantly increases the risk of developing the disease over time. The presence of a single sign cannot be directly linked to diabetes, as it can also be associated with other pathologies requiring different evaluation and treatment approaches. However, if you are over 40 years old and belong to these high-risk groups, it is better to regularly check your blood sugar level as a preventive measure. People of certain ethnic backgrounds, including African American, Hispanic, Native American, and Asian American populations, 
have higher diabetes risk and should be particularly vigilant. Early detection of diabetes and appropriate preventive measures can avoid many future complications that could significantly affect your quality of life and longevity. These complications include heart disease, kidney damage, nerve damage, vision problems, and even amputations in severe cases of uncontrolled diabetes. Take care of your skin, it could reveal valuable clues about your overall metabolic health and alert you before other symptoms appear or cause irreversible damage. Maintaining a healthy diet, regular exercise routine, and healthy body weight can help prevent type 2 diabetes and improve skin health simultaneously. Remember to consult a healthcare professional if you notice unusual skin changes, as only a medical diagnosis can confirm or rule out the presence of diabetes with certainty. Your doctor can perform simple blood tests to check your blood sugar levels and determine whether further evaluation or treatment is necessary. Your skin is the mirror of your inner health, learn to read its signals to make informed decisions about your overall well-being and healthcare needs. Paying attention to these subtle signs might just be the early warning system you need to catch diabetes before it progresses to a more serious stage. Thank you for watching this informative video on the skin signs of diabetes that could help you or your loved ones identify this chronic disease early. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and family, as this information could literally save lives by encouraging early screening and diabetes awareness. Leave us a comment if you have already noticed one of these signs or if you have other questions about diabetes that we could address in our upcoming videos. Your engagement helps us create content that truly addresses your health concerns and questions about chronic conditions like diabetes. We hope this information empowers you to be more proactive about your health and to recognize the important connection.